Hello everyone, this is me feeding my corn snake for the first time frozen thawed mice. This brand is called Arctic Mice Singles and this is a size small. I honestly thought it was going to be a little bigger than that so I gave her three of these. My snake is obviously a pretty good size so I know she can eat bigger mice so for her next feeding I got the medium size and I fed her two of those instead of three now I opted out of feeding her live mice because of the reason that the mouse can scratch her or hurt her while she's trying to eat it uh, second of all the way they want you to avoid the mouse hurting your snake is by knocking the mouse out first and frankly I did not want to do that um, so I chose to feed her frozen thawed mice it took about two to three hours to completely thaw these mice So this is the second time I fed her, seven days later, and this time I got the medium sized mice. The same brand, Arctic Mice Singles, only in size medium, and I am going to feed her two of these. I like these better. They're a lot bigger than the other ones, so I think I'm going to continue feeding her these ones, two or even three, a week. Now because these mice are already dead, I just placed them in the tub with her. I didn't really hold it in front of her face. I tried it once, and uh, well, the first time I dropped it, <laughs> so I didn't get to really see if she was actually going to take it out of the tweezers. but. She seems to respond way uh, faster when I just leave it there. and She finds it herself and then swallows the whole. Now one of these days I would like to feed her a live mouse because it is a spectacle to see your snake go after and kill a mouse and eat it. It is fun and I, I would consider that maybe a treat for her. I, I don't want to feed her strictly frozen thawed mice all her life. You know, I want her to have some live food. Years ago I caught a rosy boa in our backyard and kept it for about a couple weeks and oh, let it go because it was wild and I didn't want to keep it. But anyway <laughs> we wanted to see it eat so we went to Petco and we didn't know about frozen thawed mice then we just wanted to see it eat a live mouse so we bought a pet mouse and we pretended like we wanted to have the mouse basically as a pet but we were really buying it for food for the snake it was a small one about the same size as the one that Ginger's eating here but I felt bad because it was meant to be a pet and it wasn't really supposed to be snake food. Anyway, we put them both in a five gallon bucket and she ate it, so well, that was fun. But I know now not to feed your pet snake a pet mouse. I know now that there is designated food for your snake. And that's what I'm doing because I want Ginger to have the best. So let me know what you feed your snake and uh, how many and what size you feed them because I'm still learning and uh, she seems to be doing well still. She, she ate those mice pretty fast so I'm going to stick with that right now but just let me know if there's anything better I can do for her. Thanks for watching.